What up guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I am covering cycle 2 of Beyond 531. Now usually I take the seventh week off or just do light work to deload but in this case I can actually keep going because my central nervous system is okay, it's not taxed to the point where I need to deload. Uh, I'm not sore, I'm not hitting any plateaus, nothing like that, everything felt really good, especially leading up to this week. Uh, deadlifts felt good, um, squats were feeling really good, bench was feeling really good. So there's no reason for me to take that week off. Now most people are going to say, oh you should take it, but again it's all in context. I train twice a week for uh, six weeks straight, so for me, I can actually keep going on for another six weeks without having to deload. Get to go for the pause work. The reason why I went with the pause work was, I am very weak out of the hole when it comes to the squat. And that's just the way raw lifters are. We are really, because we don't have that suit to support us. I mean, knee wraps support too. But again, that's for the equip lifting in your fit, depending on the federation you're at. Some federations have raw with wraps. Some federations have uh, equipped with wraps. So it all depends on where you're competing. Now for me, my federation under the IPF, we don't have that option with raw with, wrap, uh, raw with wraps. It's either ra raw or uh, equipped. So in my case, it's gonna go, go straight into raw lifting. That goes the same for bench. And for deadlifts, it's gonna depend on whether I decide to go back on conventional or I decide to go um, uh, continue on with sumo. It all really depends on where it's gonna go. Now uh, for uh, conventional, it's gonna be deficit pulls at 60 to 80% of my one rep max. And for block pulls, it's, I'm gonna be able to overload. So um, it really depends. I might do uh, Beyond 531 with Joker sets on that variation or just do uh, volume work first at last just to kind of uh, build up the, um, the muscles and just get more work done. One thing that I did change in how I squat and that is I am doing a high bar squat. Now I used to do a lot of high bar back then and it was actually a pretty good lift until I had a quad injury so I kind of stopped doing high bar and went to low bar just to let my quads recover. But I did low bar for a little too long and I broke a lot of PRs with low bar so I decided just to keep going with it. Going on to the cycle, it, I increased the training max and I also decided to do a little bit more frequency. Now, a little bit of frequency with some people is adding in another day. I actually added in three days total of squatting and three days of benching. And I'm sticking to deadlifts uh, once a week for the moment and to see where the deadlifts are gonna be and how fast I recover from deadlifts. So straight on to pause sets, I pretty much did the first set of the day for three by three. The reason why I went three by three is because I wanted to do three by five, but again, the way the squat rack is designed, I just don't like it personally, because again, it grazes the, uh, the weight and it throws my body off into a really bad position. Instead of the barbell going up and down, it kind of it moves around. And when you have that much weight on your back or just any kind of weight on your back, it's kind of hard to correct the position that you need to be in. So straight on to bench press. Benching for me has always been one of the weakest lifts that I have but it doesn't give me an excuse not to make it stronger. So what I did was with benching, uh, all the other days that are not 531 are pretty much just going to be accessory work. So Mondays are gonna be bands, uh, Wednesday's the actual bench press, and uh, Friday is pretty much just uh, volume work, getting that extra, getting those extra reps in that I need. And pretty much just using bands helps me with the strength curve and pretty much blasting through the weight. I could have done pause bench, but again, I'm saving that for Wednesday. So working on the bar speed and also learning how to be a very explosive off the bench has helped me out a lot. And that's why I'm actually including the band. I did I did about six sets of triples with a minute break in between and that's a killer, that gassed me. At that point, I didn't want to do any more benching because the bar was actually slowing down on the very last set. The last two reps slowed down and I called it from there. Originally, I was supposed to go for eight, but stuck at six because I did not want to push it with bands. After that, just doing accessory work, uh, supersetted shoulder press with kettlebell raises, did some lat pull downs and some rows, and then some biceps and triceps to ease the tendonitis. And the last thing that I did add was band work. So to help with the tendonitis that I have, I pretty much just use bands, like a really light red band and just some tricep extension just to get the blood flow going in there. And that's been paying off lately. I've been doing that for about three weeks now and the blood flow to my triceps and my biceps have been helping out. My tendonitis is 
almost non-existent when I squat heavy, bench, and deadlift. It actually feels really, really good. So I want to keep this up just to prevent it from happening again. 